Why hello there YouTubers, this is NM Vapor Views. this is Nicholas, this is going to be my first video. Um, I actually have my buddy Matt in a Skype call right now that is actually on this channel with me, and you might have noticed he's made a few more videos than I. Well anyways, here he is, I don't know what he's doing right now, but... Hello, I'll tell you what I'm doing, my fucking battery's come apart and I need to fix it. Oh my god, that thing's a piece of crap. It wasn't if I hadn't fucking pulled it apart. <laughs> Anyways, that's him. I guess he's working on something. Uh, I have an iTaste MVP version 2.0 with an EVOD tank on it. Um, I thought I bought a 2.2 ohm coil. I wanted the 1.8, but they didn't have that in stock. So, uh, oh, it's at 2.7 now, but it was originally at 2.9. Anyways, I, um, I personally like Mount Baker Vapor for their liquids. And I buy a lot from them. Currently, what I have inside of my um, my tank, if I can find it, is Hawk Sauce. Really good liquid. It has a 50-50 PGVG mix, 12 milligrams of nicotine, extra two shots of flavoring. And uh, yeah, Hawk Sauce is a sour tart berry mixed fruit with menthol, which is it's actually a really good flavor. Um, another flavor I have from them is Razzleberry. Not a big fan of that. It's okay. Uh, another fan, I mean not fan, but flavor I have is Thug Juice. Um, <laughs> it's not my thing. I really don't like the Thug Juice. But um, I also have uh, from Black Cloud Vapor Knucklehead, which is a fruity flavor. Really good. has a bit of cotton candy hint to it. Um, and I have another by Mount Baker in here, but it's called Strazzle Tea, but I don't know where it is right now. It was a freebie I got from them, because I always order more than $15 worth of liquid whenever I order. Um, yeah, here it is, I think. Yeah, here's the Strazzle Tea. But yeah, really good liquids. I highly recommend them. Um, I know there's a lot of hate for Mount Baker Vapor for some reason I don't understand. But anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and vape, show you guys how mine produces vapor. I plan on buying the uh, Aspire Nautilus Mini. Um, I was originally going to get the Aspire Nautilus, the, the big one, but I realized, eh, it looked kind of retarded on here. Anyways, I like to vape at watts set to 8. Oh, wait, that's my puff counter. I like to vape at 8 watts. And uh, as you see, that's 970, I think. Um, yep, 970. Uh, 2.8 ohms, 3.7 volts. Well, I don't know why the ohms is so high on this coil in particular, but eh, oh well. Still get a really good vapor off of it. I'm not going to complain. The coil is really good. Now you may notice, hey, this isn't in HD, it's in 480p. Well, that's because I'm recording on an iPod 4th generation on the front camera. Which, by the way, is only a 480p camera on the front. So, that's why. The back camera is 720p, but I didn't want to awkwardly face the back camera pointing towards me, not knowing what I'm looking at. So maybe someday I'll hook up my 720p webcam, which is a Logitech C510. Matt over here has a Quick Cam Pro 9000. His is a little bit better than mine, but hey, mine's pretty much the same thing. <laughs> Actually, I'd be recording this right now on my LG G2, which <laughs> is what he's on on Skype. That's my truck right there. Yeah, well, you guys will. So sorry, guys. I need to solve this battery out. It's All right. Um, that's my truck right there. You guys will see me doing vaping videos, and that most likely I'll probably do a dash cam video sometime while I'm driving that, and I'll be vaping and just just talking, ranting, maybe you know, review some liquids I buy or new tanks. I want to get an unboxing video on the Aspire Nautilus when I buy it. <laughs> Don't know when I'm going to get it. Uh, it's $24.99, 99 I think, so I might be able to get it to this month. I might not. I don't know. But for time being, as gay as this friggin' EVOD looks, being yellow, that's all they had at my vape shop, it works good. 
I like it. I actually have a couple more tanks. Um, where's that one crappy tank? All right, show you my crappy tank. I clear 30. I absolutely hate it. it. Doesn't vape good. My K Fun, which is a rebuildable. This thing is actually vapes pretty good. It trucks some pretty good clouds. It just doesn't have much flavor coming off of it. I think I know why. I forgot to shake my e-liquid before I put it in. So that's uh, that's kind of a problem. But yeah, when you charge this up, it's at 4.2 volts, which is pretty much the maximum. It's almost dead. It's still showing up green on the light. But yeah, I might get a full review on this thing sometime, but... Uh, too bad I didn't make an unboxing video, but at the time I bought this and received it and unboxed it, this channel was not active, so... What can you say? Man, that cloud, man. This thing is producing some pretty good clouds. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video there. So, um, I guess we will be going and seeing you later. I think Matt might have fixed up his shit over here. I don't know. Uh, no, not fixed it. I'm a little bit busy contacting the seller to, to get him to send me a new one. It's my fault. I'm trying to make it less loose. And because I twiddled it, it fucking came apart, didn't it? Mm-hmm. But yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here. I'll see you guys later. This has been Nick with NM Vape Reviews. I'm going to try to get out more videos. I'm sorry that I put off making this video for a while, but anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoy it. Vape on.